Hello guys, this is Phil from Foxtech, and today I'm going to show you a new mapping version, Vito Nimbus, right here. And we added a lot of new features to it. Let me show you one by one. Okay, for the new version, we added landing gear for the zoom camera or the mapping camera, including a front landing gear and also a tail landing gear. The tail landing gear is affordable, helping to take it around in a very uh, small size. Okay, so let me show you how it works uh, for you to do the high precision mapping, for example. Uh, we have a newly designed camera right here. It's called the MAP01. It can take 24 megapixel photos and has a very, very fast triggering speed. And uh, by mounting the camera right here, here, you can see we still have a good clearance from the ground. The new landing gear can help you uh, to protect your equipment. So, the whole Nimbus Vito now can take off, transit into thick wing, and then do mission, then land automatically. By uh, assigning those uh, automatic flying waypoints, you can tell it to do the mapping job or the long range inspection job all by itself. Uh, we have equipped with the 15 kilometer range, uh, 900 megahertz data link. So you can read uh, all the flying data and you can find your plane on the map within 15 kilometer range at least. So it's very, very nice for also for the long range inspection. Okay, for mapping, you just uh, uh, assign a auto takeoff uh, command into it and then we can arrange an area and uh, the plane can go back and forth all by itself. So after it's landed, you can uh, get the flying log and also the photos from the plane and uh, do the processing on the computer. So you can get a very good precision map. So how to increase, to further increase the precision of your map? Uh, you can see here, we newly added a high precision uh, GPS model right here. And what is the link to? It's linked to a PPK system. So what does the PPK system do? It's just like an onboard recording system. And when the camera is triggered, the camera, our special camera, will send a switch signal to the PPK system. And the PPK system will record the exact time and the exact location when the camera shutter is triggered. So in that case, the camera, uh, the camera can take those photos at a very, very high precision. And it can help you to create a map within centimeter level. This is quite, uh, quite impressive in this case. Okay, so I, I think the Nimbus Vito now is a very, very cost-effective system uh, comparing with those very expensive multi-copters or the fixed wings. This one is very cost-effective. And let me, let me remind you about those quick detach on the wings, on the nose, on the V-tails. So all the wings, V-tails, nose can be quick detached. So it can help you to take it around to transport with a very small size. And uh, what I have to mention now, because the Nimbus now is a tricopter design uh, in the VTOL mode, uh, the efficiency is also very nice because when it transits into the fixed wing mode, only air resistance is coming from this propeller and normally it's in this way. So the air resistance and the, the redundancy of power is very, very nice. So with the upgraded power system, now the Nimbus Vito can lift 500 grams without any problem. So 
Just imagine what kind of equipment you can add on the Nimbus Vito. For example, the mapping camera with very high resolution, or a zoom camera with a 3x gimbal on it, so you can do the long range expression, like you can find a target within 15 km range by adding a very long range video system, or you can just add any payload which is within 500 grams. You can finish your job with the Nimbus. Very, very nice system. So talking about duration of the display, uh, duration is around one hour, which is also a very long time compared with the size of this one. And one hour in the fixed wing mode. And uh, when you fly at 15 meters per second, the power consumption is only around 10 amp, even lower than that. So by adding a 10,000 milliamp battery, 6S battery inside, we can fly roughly one hour, including takeoff and landing, without any problem. So by equipping with our a new Map Zero uh, mapping camera, the Nimbus Vito can cover an area of one square kilometer or two square kilometer, depending on the resolution we needed. And uh, all the flying, all the takeoff, landing is all done by the plane itself. Just with the area of four by four meters, even smaller than that, it's okay. You can take off and land this plane. Not like those traditional planes, you need a runway or need a very long open area to take off it. This one doesn't require a big area. Just like, just imagine a multi-copter, just a small size of area you can take off and it can work with that. So this is a brief introduction about our new mapping version, Nimbus Vito plane right here. And don't forget to take a look at our newly designed mapping camera. This is the FoxTech Map01 with the 24 mega and also very good figuring time. And we have also a lot of design. You can see, you can find more details on our website. So if you like our planes and the camera and other equipment, you can find them all on our website. This is the foxtechfpv.com. And also at the meantime, you can also find our Facebook and YouTube to be quite interested. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope to see you in next video. Bye.